I have to give a lot of major warnings. Um, like a ton. Um, dismember, uh, dismemberment, body parts, um, human trafficking, death, um, mentions of suicide. So please leave. But anyways, uh, <laughs> um, I don't want to say how you guys enjoyed this because it has those things in it. But please, um, be cautious about this video. But anyways, let's get on. It's all black around me. I think I'm floating. I'm dreaming, aren't I? Holy shit. My body got dragged down by an unknown force. And I found myself somewhere familiar to a basement. It looks old, but there isn't much dust. I thought as I passed my hand on a box gently. Did I mention that there was a bunch of boxes? Like, there were probably more than a dozen of them. I inhaled and gagged a little. I think a rat died or something. Now that I think about it, it feels like really realistic. I probably got an urge to open the box to my right. How strange. But I'm curious. I open it gently and froze in horror. What the fuck? Oh my god, oh my god. I stepped back quickly. I knocked it over in panic. About 20 fingers fell out. They were all different tans. I think I'm going to puke. Oddly enough, I looked at a finger in particular. It had a small metal ring with a red mark on it. I wanted to get the fuck out of here, but my body didn't seem to listen to me. It got closer. And opens another box. Holy crap! This time I did puke on the side. S the severed head of a small child. I sat down in a fetal position and started to rock myself back and forth. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Ian? What are you doing here, silly? Didn't I tell you? Not. To come down. <gasps> what the actual fuck? What type of dream was that? And whose voice was that? I know it. But why can't I place my face on that chilling voice? I got up and left to get myself a glass of water. I went to the sink and filled the glass. I just got up. I'm great. I have a headache now. Fantastic. I looked at my phone, which I had brought along when I got up. 5 a.m. Great. Yeah. I'm no idiot. I'm not going to take a walk again. Especially at this hour. What type of suicidal dumbass would make that type of mistake twice? Guess what? Who went out for a walk? The suicidal dumbass. Yep, me. But... I have my phone and taser in my coat, especially if it, apparently it's legal to carry those around. I don't know anymore. I walk for a bit before seeing a familiar face. Open eye? Ian, what are you doing out here this early? He asked. Uh, honestly, I had a nightmare. I know, childish, but it was... Really extreme and disturbing and... Oh, I'm rambling again. Sorry. Why are you out here? He sighed. It's not childish. I went out for the same reason. He mumbled. I forgot about his game backstory. It's terrible. When he was younger, he got sold to a human trafficking business and got sold to a sadist. He got a scar on his mouth from there. It's pretty horrible. And now that I think about it, the game was really morbid. Oh, are you okay? Ding. 16. To be honest, no, but I don't want to talk about it. Then, do you want to walk with me? I smiled softly at him. Sure. We walked for a bit and we started to talk about random things. Example, my day. Oh, yeah, my day, favorite food, favorite color, etc. I was 
surprised about how talkative he was. Oh, is that your snake? What's their name? The snake poked his little face out out of Obanai's hoodie. His name is Kamarua. Kamaruma. Aw, how cute! Ding. 19. It's cool, not cute. Is he pouting? Oh my god, this is too good! I smirked. Of course, of course. I ruffled his hair, but then I heard a small snap. Huh? His mask, which looks to be like a medical mask, fell off his face. One of the straps supporting it broke. We just stared at each other for a solid few seconds. I'm sorry, are you okay? I, t- I tried to touch his shoulder, but he stepped back and looked at me in complete horror. He covered his face. No, 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 no. You can't see this. I'm a monster. Oh, but I calm down. Breathe. Breathe with me. I held him by his shoulders and he started to take long breaths. He joined after a bit as breathing became more regular. And I dragged him into an alleyway. He probably doesn't want anyone to see him like this. I looked at my scarf. I closed my eyes and took his hands. He took his hands off his face. I made clumsy movements, but I managed to put my scarf on him. I peeked and saw that it was high enough to cover half of his face. Here you go. Does does it scare you? Of course not. You just looked uncomfortable without anything. I don't mind. I smiled sincerely. Ding. 25. Uh, I'm glad. Do you mind if I pull down the scarf a bit? It's a bit hot. Oh, of course. You smiled. He pulled it down and gave a soft smile. He's way too cute. And I hugged him. Oops. I couldn't resist, though. His smile was too pure. What are you doing? He became a dark shade of red. Is he a soon, Jerry? Even more cute. You're so cute, Obanai. Huh? He became even more red. He hesitantly hugged me back, and we went, and we stayed there for a little bit. He whispered at me. It's ugly, isn't it? The scar. It makes me look disgusting. I pulled back and cupped his face in my hands. Of course it doesn't, Obanai. Plus, I think that scar has a good meaning. Huh? Scars symbolize the fact that you survived. That you got through something horrible and lived. Plus, I think you look super handsome. He looked at me with hope in his eyes. Really? You're not lying? Why would I? I grinned sincerely at him, and this time he hugged me. I hugged back and felt my shoulders had something wet falling on it. I made no comment on it and simply hugged him tighter. Ding. I didn't bother to check the number. Ooh. Third piece of... Third POV, ding, 32. What neither of them realized was the fact that someone had been seen everything. Someone was there, and they were not happy. They should be the one to hug you, not that guy. They turned around and left. Maybe planning to have a talk with a hero later. Happy New Year's, everyone. So for me, it is, well, the day that this is posted is the 31st. So for me, it is New Year's, uh, is it New Year's night or New Year's day? I think it's New Year's night. But I hope you guys had a fantastic year. Um, mine was not, but anyways, we won't talk about that. But um, I hope that this year treated you very well. And hopefully you have a great next year. And by the way, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Bye, lovelies.